Jed Ecos here. Today we're going to be going over the Sunjo electric chainsaw 14 inch 9 amp. Now I have went ahead and, and took everything out of the box and I'm going to show you how to assemble it. I've noticed a couple of key things that I want to share with y'all in order to make your assembly a lot more easier. Uh, I got this on Amazon for $49 that is with the Prime membership discount without taxes. I'm also going to be going over some of the key features that this has and also one of the questions that I saw on Amazon that I think I need to share with y'all. Uh, some of you may be wondering. So I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it here. Now this unit is ideal for trimming and pruning. It weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. Has an automatic roller. Comes with a two year warranty. Please note. That Amazon does state that in order to activate the warranty that you must go through the manufacturer's website or contact the manufacturer directly. It has a safety switch from accidental starts and cuts up to 13.5 inches in diameter. Keep in mind that this is a 14 inch blade. And one of the questions that somebody asked was, can I run the saw off of a car battery with a 500 watt inverter? And the answer is no. Amps multiplied times volts equals watts. Nine amps times 120 volts equals 1,080 watts. So that's the question right there. I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into it here as far as the assembly. Now also note that you wanna make sure that your blade is facing the right way. Okay, here's a diagram right here on the saw. It goes this way with arrows to show you which way the blade goes. I noticed on one of the reviews where somebody said that it didn't cut and I think that they had the blade on backwards. This is sharp right there. On this side, it's not. It's gonna be going that way. Right here, you have teeth and those teeth ride right inside that channel guide right there. You want to make sure that that's in there. When you do put the chain on, make sure that it's not too tight. Make sure that it's not too loose. Now, I went ahead and adjusted the chain tensioner uh, before the assembly inside of this video. And I will say that you do need to adjust the chain tensioner uh, before you do assemble everything. So just kind of keep that in mind. It does come with a chain tensioner tool this side is a flathead here, and here is your wrench for your nut that goes under cover housing there. I'm going to flip the chain tail up here on the side because it's going to be easier for me to assemble. Now here is a slot right here. You have your bolt right here. You want to make sure that that bolt goes inside the slot. And also make sure your chain wraps around this bracket right here. Also, uh, I wanted to note that that little piece right there, it needs to go right inside of one of these holes here. So it can be a little tricky as far as getting everything lined up. So keep that in mind. It will take a little, a uh, few adjustments, but once you get it, uh, I think you'll be fine. Slip everything on here. Go ahead and wrap that around that. I'll kind of turn it at an angle. I'll put that chain tensioner uh, piece of metal through one of the holes there. This is after adjusting the ch chain tensioner. So keep in mind that you will need to do that. Make sure that everything's in place. Once you do, make sure that the blades, that the teeth are in the channel guides here when you do put that cover on because otherwise you'll have to take everything back apart also note that the cover has a little insert here it's not a washer that pops off Thing goes on nice and easy here. Okay. 
Now when you do tighten this down, you don't want to do it too tight, but you want to make sure it's secure. And as you can see, the blade is not too loose and it's not too tight. Also, I've noticed that the oil reservoir has a cap right here, and it seems like it's a piece of rope, not plastic. It does seem pretty sturdy. The cap does seem pretty thick and sturdy as well. I noticed that this unit has a thicker plastic. It does seem light. The guard handle feels fairly sturdy. Uh, for the most part, the handle feels really sturdy. It also comes with uh, an extension cord holder here. You wrap your extension cord right up in there. And here is also a sight glass to where when you fill your oil reservoir up, you can see uh, where your oil is. Now also note that uh, this is some aftermarket oil that I do put in here. It does not come with any bar slash chain oil. I will put a link in the description box below for some bar and chain oil. And I will also put a link in the description box for the 14 inch. And if they got a 16 inch, I'll put that in there as well. Uh, I'm also going to do another video on me cutting as well. So I can show you uh, how well it cuts. If it does not cut that well, then I will take all of the links out of the description boxes uh, in the next video. Because I do not want to recommend anything that is going to be... Um, that's, that's not going to be worth your money and steer you in the wrong direction. It also has a cover right here uh, to where you can cover your blade, which I thought is kind of nice to have. I'm just simply just stick it on. I will keep this on at all times. I only take it off whenever you are fixing a cut. And there you go. There's your Sunjo 9 amp, 14 inch electric chainsaw. And we are going to go ahead and see how it works. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like. Leave a comment. Do whatever you want to do. Uh, at least you can see the product running now after the assembly process.